My name is Tom Siasia. I practice at Param Doctors Hospital. So Mazer and Mazer X both are great platforms to show trajectory of a pedicle screw. It also puts you in the right place at the right time when you're doing minimally invasive surgery. It gets you exactly where you want to go with minimal incisions, and the robot itself actually puts an arm to exactly where screws or instruments need to be so you can guide it into the person's body. Preoperatively, a lot of planning goes into the surgery. In the past, we couldn't tell exactly what pedicle screw to place, and we didn't know the patient's anatomy. We'd have an MRI which shows the discs, the nerves, where the pressure on the nerves is coming from. But we, we did not really look at the bony anatomy to really assess how to put the pedicle screws in, how to fuse the spine, or even the approach, how to get there the best way and the, the most efficient way with the smallest incisions. Before the surgery with the Maser or Maser X, we do it all on the computer after a CT scan, and the length of the pedicle screws is already pre-measured. There is a pre-planning where we can measure the length of the screws, the width of the screws, the trajectory of the screws, and we can also see exactly where to go to get the pressure off the nerves, all by looking at a preoperative CT before we even get into the operating room. The Maser X makes screw placement easier and more precise. The actual precision for me has been 100%. I have not had to go back, remove, or adjust any pedicle screws. When you're doing freehand, there is an opportunity for you to miss the pedicle because you don't have a preoperative plan and a precise angle. So the Maser or Maser X to me is an advantage in that I know that the pedicle screws will not breach. If a pedicle screw breaches part of the bone, it could press on the nerve, having you to go back and reoperate on a patient. So the Maser or Maser X basically takes that problem out of the surgery. The benefits of using the Maser or Maser X is smaller incisions. When we do pedicle screws freehand or without the Maser, you actually have to feel the pedicle to get your angle and trajectory right. We use a, a lot of fluoroscopy, which is dangerous to you and the patient, every step of the way to make sure that the screw is down the pedicle. So with freehand, you have to see what you're doing and if you don't have the maser and you're doing it percutaneously through the skin, the amount of x-ray that you have to use is relatively dangerous. Therefore, by using the maser or maser X, preoperatively you know where you're going, the maser rotates with the arm to give you your trajectory, and then you don't have to use all that fluoro, and you can also do the surgery without having to feel around, having to see. Everything can be done precisely and with confidence. The recovery of the patient with the Maser or Maser X, depending on the procedure, should be faster. Again, the reason being is the incision is usually smaller. You don't have to dissect as much, so you don't have to feel that pedicle. You can just put the screw in with a smaller incision. The Maser itself makes percutaneous surgery faster, more efficient, and it makes it more reasonable. And then hence, if you're doing surgeries percutaneously or with smaller incisions, the patient's hospital stay should be shorter and the recovery time should be shorter. The Maser X has been a great advancement for spine surgery. In my practice for the last two years, it has helped me put screws where screws were very hard to get in. And it also increased my speed, decreased the amount of fluoroscopy I use, and made my incisions smaller. Because of that, I think it's been a, an advantage to me and my patients. After putting about 500 screws in, the learning curve now is easy, it seems simple, the operating room knows exactly what they're doing, and it just gets better and better each time.